Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you some gameplays of Disco Elysium Final Cut, Grim Dawn and Quake 2 Remaster running on my Steam Deck using SteamOS. I have installed all of the games on an SD card, Samsung EVO Plus A2 rated speed. First I will be running Disco Elysium. Now a lot of people may not be aware of this, Disco Elysium is the highest rated PC game of all time on Metacritic. You can see the rating here. Second most popular game is Baldur's Gate 3. Actually both Disco Elysium and Baldur's Gate 3 have the same score. The third most popular game is Half-Life 2 and the fourth most popular game is GTA 5. Almost 185 million copies of the game have been sold. Being a highly rated game does not mean everyone will enjoy it. Disco Elysium is definitely not for everyone. It is a non-traditional role-playing game featuring very little combat. Instead, events are resolved through skill checks and dialogue trees via a system of 24 skills that represents different aspects of the protagonist such as his perception and pain threshold. The game is based on a tabletop role-playing game setting. We will be playing as an amnesiac detective who has been tasked with solving a murder mystery. Show the game info section. Proton D batch marked as gold will be targeting 60 FPS in this game. Game info. Streamback compatibility marked as verified using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0-3. Now in the menu, performance tab, overlay level set to 3, frame rate limit set to 60, that's it. Not using any setting from here. Show the end game settings. I'll stick with the default setting. 800p resolution. Environment FX set to high. Anti lazing disable. I'll just enable it. 2x. Shader quality set to brilliant. Language set to English. And that's it. Start the game. Select archetype. Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Sensitive, very psychological, physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, get things done, but dumb as a rock. Create your own. I'll go with a thinker. There is a character. Drunk. Games like this are perfect for Steam Deck. Can't move. Now I can move. Interact with the items in the environment. Select them by moving the right analog stick. Magnum size, bottle of Commodore Red. To Aspen Lock, need to find the key. Why is my character naked? Get the pants. There you go. I need to find the keys. This fan has two chamber switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light. Yeah, there's a tie. A truly horrific necktie is somehow attached Hanging itself from the fan. to one of the blades. Grab the tie. You reach out to grab the tie. But what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Do comes over. <laughs> comes over you. This is bad. Chest pain, damage and oh no. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. That did not go well. For quite a long time, still ongoing. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. You know what you should do. You should stop the fan and then try again. It'll get easier. Do it if you want to die. The stabbing pain in your chest is telling you. I won't be doing it. By a thread here. <laughs> Almost died there. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Found the key. It says whirling in rats on the aluminum key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The there you go. Whirling in rags is a hostile cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Seems to be a code. 
Yeah, I can leave this place. Since my character is having a headache. Door unlock. Hello, officer. She's talking to me. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 20. Choose so many of these dialogues, officer. Am I military personnel? Uh, no. Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you I sure? Am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. You've been here for three days on official police business. Our character guess. cannot recall anything. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Of course. Be careful, officer. I need they to don't conversation. Like around here. Here is fifty one. Seems to be a cafe. Interact with the manager. In his late twenties, stands behind the counter. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's Are you the bartender? Friend. Make some small talk. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated, all of us. Sounds grumpy. This seems like a touchy subject. The great look. Your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Okay, so looking for this friend of ours. I think this is the guy. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand. Okay, I need to interview the cafeteria manager. There he is. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Interview is over. Got to know about the location of the dead body. Leave this place. Game is very nicely on Steam Deck. FPS mostly stays around 60. GP load is around 80%. Power draw is around 15 watts. 16 watts now. Depends on the area. Should be getting a playtime of around 2 and a half hours on a full battery. There's the dead body. Need to select it. There's the prawn. I keep missing it. Got it. Looks at you with bulging white eyes. You seem to be holding your breath. So now I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be running Game Dawn. It's an action role playing game developed using the Titan Quest engine. It is set in a thematically dark fictional world loosely based on the Victorian era. Proton DB Bash marked as Platinum. Again, I will be targeting 60 FPS. Game Info section Steam Deck compatibility marked as Playable using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0-3. Okay, so here just select Play Grim Dawn X64 version. Performance tab, overlay level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 60, that's it. In game settings, 800p resolution using the default settings, shader set to ultra, reflections, particles, and lighting set to medium, weather set to high, vsync disabled. Start the game. There's a character, interact with this guy. The dead are 
rising in droves and will overwhelm us with sheer numbers at the rate things are going. Head to Burial Hill and destroy whatever is reviving them. Okay, I need to head to Burial Hill. Where can I find the Burial Hill? Head out through Lower Crossing and make your way up to the road. There should be a signpost pointing to Burial Hill. Just All right. beyond town. Getting 60 FPS GP load is around 85% game is running only 13 watts of power undead. Have a gun. Stable performance even during combat. Should be getting a playtime of around 3 hours on a full battery. Zoom in. Jump up. Looking for a signboard. Okay, can't go through here. Area block. Just try this door. Creating my own path. Shouldn't have entered this house. This is the map. Active press. Walking to misery. Big one. Hey, <laughs> no. Need to fight against it. It's low on HP. May be able to kill it. Enemy boss kill. So excellent performance. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Quake 2 Remaster it even includes the original version of Quake 2 that was released way back in 1997. Game developed by ID Software. Original mission packs and expansions are also present. Game also supports multiplayer. Proton D batch marked as cool game info section Steam Deck compatibility marked as playable using Proton compatibility layer version 8.0-3. From here you can select from Quake 2, Quake 2 original, The Reckoning original, Round 0 original. Remaster is the first option. The Reckoning and Ground Zero are the original mission packs. Performance tab overlay level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 60. That's it. Quick 2 Remaster is also available on Xbox Game Pass. Already shown you its gameplay. Running using xCloud. Display settings. Vulcan API resolution set to 800p, VSync disabled. You can enable CRT emulation setting. Old school CRT monitors. All of these effects have been enabled. I did not enable CRT simulation. Entirely up to you. From new game, you can select the different episodes: Quake 2, Call of the Machine, The Reckoning, Ground Zero, Quake 2 64, and 64 version of the game. Call of the Machine is a brand new expansion. Developed by Wolfenstein New Order Studio Machine Games. I'll start quick too. There you go. I'm getting 60 FA. Check out the shadow quality. Objective. is trying almost 15 watts of power should be getting a play time of around 3 hours on a full battery old school games have a certain charm to them yes and me
Oh no, I'm low on health. Good to see no parts on Steam Deck. Steam OS. Network activated the elevator. So, guys, I end the video here. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.